When you submit a document to URAC through a credit net, you will be asked to provide a citation for that document. What URAC is asking you for in that field is enough information so that the reviewer knows exactly where in that document she can find the language, the paragraph, the graphic that proves that you are complying with the particular subsection of the standard that you're submitting that document for. It's important that there be a one-to-one -one correlation in that citation between the subsection and the language. So when the reviewer gets your document, she can look at, say, Core 13A, and you've got this document that's about data integrity, and she knows that on page 15, paragraph 3, sentence 2, you describe at least one aspect of how your organization deals with data integrity, which is what Core 13A is about. So if that's the case, you, in the box for citation, write some indication like Core 13A slash, and then where in that document it is, page 15, paragraph 2, sentence 2. That way she doesn't have to go hunting through what might be a 40-page document to find one sentence or one paragraph. Now your document may only demonstrate support for one subsection of a particular standard. That's easy to do, for example, in Core 13, which is the IT standard, where you might have one document that shows how you deal with data integrity, an entirely different document or set of documents that deals with, for example, data storage, maintenance, and destruction, which is Core 13D. So it's important that you understand that not every document needs to support every subsection. Some do. But if that happens, then you need to have a separate citation for each subsection. So I strongly recommend against submitting a citation that looks like Core 13 all. Very few documents accept, well, very few documents, let me say, should be cited that way. I can imagine if you're submitting a job description and the documentation is for a job description, that's the whole job description supports the particular standard, then you might say citation Core 4 slash all. Very, very few standards suggest that you submit documents like that. For the most part, you'll have Core 13B slash page such and such, section such and such, paragraph such and such, or section such and such. Now, one little twist here. URAC is changing its citation section as it rolls in new sets of standards. You'll have to see whether you have the new citation method or the old citation. I have one client that is going for two different modules, disease management and drug therapy management, and in the disease management side of their application, they have the old citation method, and in the drug therapy management section, which is a newer set of standards than disease management, they have the new citation section. Here's the difference. In the older version of the citation section, there's simply one field for citation. So you write in the subsection, Core 13A, and then you write slash, and then the section in your document that supports 13A. In the new citation methodology, there is a different field for each subsection plus a field for the whole standard. So if you'll go into Farm Core 13, you'll see there's first a field for Farm Core 13, and you would fill that in only if you had a document that supported the whole standard. Again, as I said, that's very unusual. Then the next field is, it's numbered, but it stands for Farm Core 13A all by itself. And then there's a little field next to it, and so you write in that field. You obviously don't have to write the name of the standard. You simply write page 13, paragraph 2, or whatever the section is that applies to that. And you do that for each subsection of the standard for which that document provides support. So 
this advice is the same for both in the general sense, that is, you need to provide one-to-one -one correspondence between a particular part of your document and a particular subsection of the standard. Uh, but there's a slightly different mechanism within a credit net depending on whether you have the new citation approach or the old citation approach for your particular module.